After years apart, Jack won a return to Kamala Prasad Bisasa's side in 2023, pledging to put her back in office. But now, the former Shaguanas West MP is ready to fight from the front. I don't think that I should shy away if we need to get political change. If Mrs. Prasad Bisasa feels that I can function best in, in place A, B or C, I will do that. Shaguanas West? Uh, but that, if ever, if, if, if ever I get to work for Shaguanas West, I will have any work to do. Warner served as Shaguanas West MP between 2007 and 2013 under the UNC and won the seat again in 2013 under the ILP. Then in 2020, again under the ILP, he lost the Lopino Bonner West seat. Warner, who once warred with Basad Bisasa, believes there's no one else to lead the UNC to victory. Questions over her competency were raised, causing a fallout within the UNC ahead of the June internal election. It's a matter that hurt Warner, as he believed some of the now UNC dissidents hold tremendous potential. Anita Haynes and Western Parry and, and, um, and Rodney Child, well, he, 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 he decided to retire on his own. Um, and, he told, and the fourth one is um, Dennis Rambley. These guys have something to offer the country. I don't think Rai Rugby has. He doesn't believe their differences are reconcilable. However, Warner says the real enemy is... CPNM. He criticized Dr. Raleigh for appointing Stuart Young to act as prime minister so soon after his Zami comment to the opposition leader, adding that he expected more public outrage over his comment. Now, though Young has apologized for his comment, Warner says he's not ready to lead the PNM. The only person I would see as... And I'm saying this because I'm not in a party, but you ask the question... I, as I would see as being worthy of leading the PNM with the Penny Beckles. Penny Beckles versus Kanapo Saibi Sessa would be a, 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 I mean a thrilling fight. Beckles went up against Dr. Rowley for political leader in 2014 but lost. She's yet to confirm whether she still has her eyes on the position. Now the U.S. is seeking to extradite Warner, a former FIFA executive who faces 29 charges related to fraud, racketeering and illegal wire transfers. Bavita Gopal Chan, CNC3 News.